Okay, so welcome back and today we're going to be wiring up the BDL168. Now I've been reading through the manual here and the manual is pretty good. It tells you everything you need to know to get it going. So let's make our way over the table now and see what's been happening. So let's take a closer look at the BDL168 now and uh, what this can do for you is it can give you 16 inputs for block detection. It can give you 16 outputs for LEDs and on this side it can give you eight uh, inputs for uh, transponding. So to get this working what I'm going to need to do is first I'm going to wire up the power. So I have two power wires coming in here and I just need to run them to the, the correct pins. Now I did wire up this on a previous video. Then next I'm going to need to do is run another wire from pin 11 off here to the booster ground. Now on this layout that will be the DCS51. I'm going to need to get the uh, block detection wires coming in order here and put them into their relevant pins. And then finally I need to wire up a Loconet cable. So uh, let's get started. So let's have a quick look at this diagram here and as you can see it's broken up into four sections. So each section has four, four times four is 16 sections. So how I'm planning to wire this up is I'm going to use this four core speaker wire. So each section will have a length of this cable and this will be called say sub bus one. Then I'll just wire up the pins at this end. So you can see here I've got each of the four sections already ready to go, one, two, three, and four. So what will happen is sub bus one will come in and the red wire will go to pin number one and be block section one and two, three, and four. So when we get to the second lot of wires, sub bus two comes in and the red wire goes to position number five and becomes block section five. And there'll be six, seven, eight. And that continues on till we get to 16. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I wired up some of the block sections to the bus line so I could just temporarily run some trains around and test it out. So that's all working now. So I'm gonna go around and cut all these off and uh, start getting ready to make their way to the BDL 168. Alright so you can see the end of this sub bus cable here and I've got to strip off some of the outer casing and then I'll just wire them up to the reds. So here it comes along, makes its way down and I've already got sub bus 1 wired up and here is sub bus 2 ready to go. Alright, so we got all the four sub buses wired up, we've got the power wire, and you can see the booster ground running off that way, so that's all done now. So it's time to wire up this edge connector. So you can see I put a little black dot there. That's just so uh, when I go take it over to the soldering table, I'll know what orientation that is sitting, so let's keep going. So you can see it's all wired up now, ready to go. It has taken quite some time to actually solder all these bits on and get it all done, but it's worth it in the end. So I'm just going to get on now and make the loco net cables. Right, so I started to make the cables up now and I've put the plugs on each end. I'm just going to plug one into uh, the BDL68 and one into the SCHC. Now I've got this cable tester here. And the, the reason why I like this cable tester, say, to the Digitrack one is this will actually test uh, both ends of the cable. So if I switch it on, And there it is showing me that all six connections are working correctly. Now when you use the Digitrack one, it tests the cable, but you don't, say you had a bad plug, you don't know which side is actually bad. So this one will actually tell you which plug is bad. Alright, so we're all wired up now and ready to go. I've got the cables plugged in, coming to this one, the loco net, then making its way off to the DCS51. And usually I'd probably want to switch it on now and give it a test run, but I've got one more thing I need to do. If we have a quick look at this. I actually have 20 block sections on this layout all up. And so the BDL 168 is only going to do 16, so that's why I've got to do 
the BD4 as well. So uh, that's going to be my next video, wiring up the BD4. So thanks for watching.